Good evening. I'm Ron, reporting from the heart of the Capitol Remnants. The skies are ashen, but our spirits remain unbroken. And I'm Walter, speaking directly from the eastern wastelands, where the gusts of dust stir stories of survival and grit. This evening we bring you another engaging episode of the Macule Report, our beacon of truth in these harsh times. We'll be delving into some hard-hitting topics from the latest in mobility with a detailed report from Bobby's Outpost to an in-depth discussion on our ongoing battle against dormant AI threats. We'll also be taking a culinary detour with a live cooking demonstration on Scavenger's Feast and sharing tips on survival and wellness that could be the difference between life and death in our new world. So sit tight, keep that radio dialed in, and remember, together we bring you today's stories from our world, the Mayor Awesome Cinematic Universe. Now we head to the outpost where Bobby, the speed maestro, is ready to show us his latest work. Well, hello there, Macu. Ain't she a beauty? This here's the 28 Phantom Rover, equipped with rad-resistant alloy and fusion-blasted wheels for those rugged wasteland terrains. Got a 400-volt impulse inverter under the hood fueling the rad turbine engine. She runs smooth, she runs clean, and boy, she goes fast. Ain't no AI gonna catch you in this baby. Got mine last week, and let me tell you, best decision I made. Now I can get from the capital remnants to eastern wastelands in less than an hour. You hear that, folks? It's a wild world out there, but Bobby's got your back. Bobby's outpost, where we go fast or go home. Got mine last week, and let me tell you, best decision I made. Now I can get from the capital remnants to eastern wastelands in less than an hour. Joining us now is Dr. Moira Sterling, one of the brave minds tirelessly working to keep us safe from the specter of AI. Good evening, Ron. Thank you for having me. Uh, Dr. Sterling, we understand your team recently neutralized a dormant AI cluster. Can you walk us through the process? Certainly, Ron. Neutralizing a dormant AI cluster is like diffusing a time bomb. We use electromagnetic pulse disruptors to stun the AI system. This effectively creates a buffer, allowing us to manually disarm the dormant codes. In the AI wars, we lost a lot to these clusters, so we've built a system of trackers and disruptors to ensure we're never caught unawares again. Dr. Sterling, this process sounds incredibly delicate. Could you tell us about the training your team undergoes to prepare for such a critical task? Absolutely, Ron. We run extensive simulations, of course, mimicking various dormant AI scenarios. We've built virtual models of AI clusters, and each team member has to prove they can disarm a dormant cluster in a controlled digital environment before they're allowed in the field. And these dormant clusters, they're remnants from the AI wars? How often do you come across them? More often than we'd like, Ron. These clusters are indeed remnants from the war. It's like walking through a battlefield years after the war has ended. We come across one every few months or so, and each time, it's a stark reminder of the danger we lived through. Indeed, it's a testament to the resilience of our people. What measures are in place to ensure that these clusters don't activate on their own? We have a multi-tiered early warning system, Ron. The trackers I mentioned earlier provide us with an initial alert. Following that, the disruptors give us the time we need to intervene. We've learned from the past, and we refuse to be caught off guard again. Thank you for your invaluable work, Dr. Sterling, and for helping us understand the ongoing threats and our defenses against them. We're all in this together, Ron. We each do our part to safeguard our world. Incredible work, Doctor. It's a reminder of the careful balance we live with, embracing technology but ensuring it never again wields the power to overthrow us. Yes, Ron, we all have a role to play to keep our world safe. Thank you, Dr. Sterling. Up next, we take a culinary detour with Scavenger's Feast, sharing survival recipes for our brave new world. Stay tuned. Stay with us. The MacU Report will be right back after a word from our sponsors. We are more than a fitness center. We are a community, a community that knows what it means to survive and thrive. Join us at Rusty Reps. Be a part of our tribe. Channel your strength. Reclaim your power. Remember, it's not about the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's about how you lift it. In the heart of the ruins, a tradition of togetherness is reborn. Welcome to Scavenger's Feast. Cuisine adapted for survival, cooked to perfection with flavors reminiscent of the world before. Our shared past might be one of turmoil, but at Scavenger's Feast, we celebrate our collective future. For in the end, we are what we eat, survivors. Scavenger's Feast a dining experience that's worth every risk. Find us at the heart of the city ruins. For reservations, call us at 867-5309. Now back to the MacU Report with Ron and Walter. And welcome back. 
Now it's time for something a little different. I'm joined today by Chef Martha from Scavenger's Feast. She's here to teach us how to whip up a delightful radiated grub stir-fry. Chef, it's a pleasure to have you. Thank you, Walter. It's an honor to be here. Now let's get cooking. Now, Walter, the first thing we need to look at are our grubs. You want to pick the ones that are plump and active. A slow grub is a sick grub, and we don't want that. Active grubs, got it. Good. Now, onto the deradiation. In the old days, they'd tell you to just rinse it off, but we know better. We have our derad solution here. Derad solution, that sounds complicated. Oh, not at all, Walter. It's just some clean water mixed with a good bit of baking soda. Soak the grubs in there for about 10 minutes and the radiation is neutralized. So it's as simple as that. Pick the active grubs and give them a good soak in a baking soda solution. Ah, uh, now I've been told that the secret to your stir fry is in the sauce. Care to share that secret with our viewers, Chef? Well, the exact recipe is a closely guarded secret, but I can tell you it involves a mix of irradiated berries, fermented root, and a dash of synthetic spice. And there you have it, folks. A delicious radiated grub stir fry straight from the master herself. Chef Martha, thank you so much for joining us. It was my pleasure, Walter. Remember, in the ruins, we don't just survive, we feast. Looks absolutely scrumptious, Walter. Now, moving on to our next segment. Now, folks, we're moving into a more serious segment. One that's close to my heart. It's about survival in our world. These might look like ordinary objects from a bygone era, but they can pose serious threats. They might have been ordinary household items once, but the AI wars changed everything. Dormant AI could be lurking inside any of these. Take this toaster, for example. It might seem harmless, right? But an AI chip could be hidden inside it. That's why it's crucial to disassemble and inspect all electronic items before use. The simplest tools can often be your best friends. Knowing how to dismantle, inspect, and reassemble can mean the difference between safety and danger. And televisions. They were a source of entertainment. But can now be a source of danger. Before you decide to salvage one for parts or attempt to repair it for use, you must first ensure it's AI-free. Wristwatches, especially the ones with digital displays, are not to be trifled with. Any device with a memory or programming capability is a potential threat. Remember, staying safe means staying vigilant. Always inspect, always be cautious. Because in our world, danger could be lurking where you least expect it. Folks, let's never forget, staying alive means staying one step ahead. And on that note, it's time to step aside for a quick break. Don't you go anywhere, though. We've got a lot more coming up for you on the MacU Report. Stay tuned. Howdy, folks. Bobby here at Bobby's Outpost. Got your eyes on a 28 Phantom Rover? You're in luck, because we've got the best selection this side of the wasteland. Come on down, feel the power of these beauties. And remember, at Bobby's, we're about speed and freedom. No restrictions, no limits. Bobby's Outpost, just a quick ride south of the Capitol remnants. Come find your freedom today. In a world torn apart by AI wars, one tale stands above all. Featuring your beloved characters and unforgettable adventures, the Mac U cinematic experience is coming soon. Brace yourselves, this is the Mac U like you've never seen before. Coming soon to a community broadcast near you. Stay tuned for more updates. Good evening, friends. We're here tonight at the Rusty Reps Fitness Center, a beacon of hope and strength in the heart of the southern settlements. Joining me is the driving force behind this establishment, Samuel. A former Marine who fought in the AI wars, he's now channeling his energies to help the rest of us stay fit and, importantly, stay alive. That's right, Walter. In times like these, it's not just about surviving, but thriving. And that starts with a sound body and mind. It's inspiring to see, isn't it? But physical strength isn't the only focus here. Samuel, could you tell us more about the importance of mental well-being in these testing times? Absolutely, Walter. After the AI wars, it's not just our landscapes that were left scarred, but our minds, too. We've created a community here, a place to heal, to connect, and to rebuild. We have group sessions, therapy dogs, anything to help folks cope. And there you have it. Even in the harshest of conditions, there's a place for us to grow, to improve, and to heal. The resilience of the human spirit is truly remarkable. Thank you, Samuel, for showing us around and for your invaluable work. All right, sports enthusiasts of the MacQ, let's dive into the thrilling world of post-apocalyptic athletics. In the southern settlements, the scavenger sprint is the hottest ticket. Imagine a marathon, a treasure hunt, and a demolition derby all rolled into one. Last week, our very own Rusty Rick clinched the top spot, finding not one, but two working solar panels amidst the ruins. Way to go, Rusty. 
Meanwhile, up north, the Metal Ball League is heating up, quite literally. Yesterday's match was a scorcher with the temperature soaring over 100 degrees. But that didn't stop the Capital Crushers from crushing, well, the competition and the ball. Let's just say that melted metal makes for a unique trophy. And in the western wastes, the sandstorm cyclists continue to defy Mother Nature. Battling fierce winds and limited visibility, these brave riders pedal through the perilous terrain, proving once again that we're a species that doesn't back down, no matter how much sand gets in our eyes. In our new world, sports aren't just about winning or losing, they're about survival, resilience, and a bit of insanity, don't you think? But hey, that's what makes it fun. So here's to our athletes who, despite everything, continue to chase that rusty, irradiated, melting ball. Because if we can't have a little fun, then what's the point of rebuilding, right? Stay tuned for weather. Up next. Good evening, citizens of the MACQ. Let's talk about the one thing that's as unpredictable as an old world AI, our weather. In the eastern wastelands, we've got a high radiation wind blowing in from the old power plants. If you're out there, be sure to keep your Geiger counters handy and maintain the appropriate shielding. Down in the southern settlements, a heat dome is forming. Hydrate, find shade, and remember, the desert doesn't discriminate. It's as deadly as any AI if you don't respect it. Moving across the heartland, we see an upcoming acid rain spell. Ensure your shelters are secure and harvest what you can before it hits. I know it's tough out there, folks, but humanity has always been the resilient sort. We've survived the worst that artificial intelligence could throw at us. And we'll survive this weather, too. Be smart, stay safe, and keep looking out for each other. The sun will rise again. That's all from the weather desk tonight. Stay tuned for the final segment of the MACU Report. Welcome back, folks. Now we got some stories that'll make you proud to be a citizen of the MACU. First up, over in the edge of the ruins, a group of young scavengers who call themselves the Reclaimers have managed to refurbish an old pre-war library. They've collected and restored hundreds of old world books and have started educating the younger generations. I heard about that, Walter. They even found a cookbook from before the war. Can you imagine a world where we had the luxury of cooking from recipes instead of necessity? But their spirit, that's what really embodies the MACU. In the southern settlements, a young woman named Maria has started a small farm using seeds she found in an old storage vault. She's been sharing her crops with the community, giving them a taste of fresh food after years of preserved and canned meals. From books to broccoli, the strength and determination of our people never cease to amaze me. That's our world, Ron. The Mac U, full of resilient folks who make the best of what they've got. That's right, Walter. And to all of you watching, remember every day is a chance to make a difference. To build something new from the ashes of the old world. Because we're not just survivors. We're builders. We're the future. That's all from us tonight. Stay strong, Matthew, and remember, we're all in this together. Well, that's all the time we have for you tonight, Matthew. We hope you enjoyed our report and feel a little more connected to our shared world. It's been a privilege to bring you these stories, reminding us all of the strength and resilience that defines our new world. And remember, folks, we're more than just survivors. We're a community. We're rebuilding, reinventing, and we're doing it together. Next week, we'll bring you more updates from our bustling universe with stories from the frontier settlements, an exclusive tour inside a revived hydroponic farm, and a special report on the new advancements in radiation treatment. Not to mention another mouth-watering segment with our beloved chef Martha from Scavenger's Feast. So, be sure to tune in. Thank you for joining us tonight. Please stay safe, stay strong, and remember to check your home devices for any lurking AI threats. Good night, Mac you, and good luck.